This is Dave McCain with the Right Tree Genealogy doing another video today to cover something that came up in forums and directly to me. Signature YSTRs and the importance to Big Y, what I do with it as a project admin. Whenever someone matches to my project, I get a notification that says, hey, this person matches at whatever level. I, I've got mine set at Y37 so that they, at least they have to have a Y37 match. Right now, I am going to discuss the signatures I look for to see if I think someone uh, is going to be a valid test to upgrade to a big Y and, and what I do in general when I discuss with my fellow admins. Let's go over to the data and see what we got. I'm logging into my father's kit. Put myself in the upper corner here. This is logged in to the project, the main project my father's in, and I'm looking at the first uh, 25 YSTRs. For uh, the signature as a project members, at the Y25, when I first take a look at this, I look at the rapidly mutating, the one in red here, the DYS3085. Most of the people are 1014s in the project. We have a few that have a 9, 14 or a 10 15 we actually have one person that is a 10 13 and again this is considered a rapidly mutating so it could mutate more quickly than others but what we have noticed in our project you will not see a number lower than eight here and you will not see a number higher than 11 here so far we have 72 big y testers and over uh, 120 testers in general in this project and there are a few people that have come in with 1114 and so far those that have big Y tested have ended up going out of the project area not lineage one anyway when I say everything I'm talking about is lineage one the one that I'm in uh, there's different lineages in our project but I focus on lineage one so this DYS, when I look at this, someone joins the project, I look here to see what it looks like. So then I step up to the Y37s. A lot of people don't like looking at this one, but we look at CDY. <clears throat> CDY is very rapid, has a lot of mutations, and, and I'll show you down through here. They're, they're 35, 36 is the most common, but there's 35, 37s, uh, and this goes down in another group down here below it. There's all these different mutations and so you say, why you look at this one? Here's why. Uh, when you look at this, and this, the very top three here, like the 33, 35, 35, 38, 35, 36. So this is the minimum. This is the maximum number. So there's somebody that has a 38, and we only have one that has a 38. Almost all of them have a 35 here. And then the mode, or the one that's most commonly found, is 35, 36. When we look at this one, there's a lot of suggestions out there that, hey, this could be a, what about a 3641 or anything like that? We have not to date in all the testing that we've done in Lineage 1 found anybody that has above a 38 in the second digit on the CDY here. We have no one below the 33. And so far, we only have one that has a 33 and we only have one that has a 38. Almost everybody else, and I'm going to scroll down for your convenience to look at, 35, 36, 35, 37. There's the 35, 38, 35, 37, blah, 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 35, 35. That's one of those double ups that we, you can occur in this. Look at how many 35, 37s, 35, 36s. And these are all of our big Y testers. So we look at that one. When I look at a match and I notice that a person that matches us actually has numbers outside of what I'm looking at here. Let's say they have a 36, 39, or just some number like that. I'm very skeptical that they're going to actually be, if the big Y test, be at the lineage one any longer. So again, these are signatures. These are YSTRs that I look at as a project admin to see if these can, can be candidates or important to us to do a big Y testing or suggest them to big Y. I think people should big Y test if they can afford to do so. But there are times when we see an important tester and we, uh, we help them upgrade if it's going to give us more information in our project. That's at the Y25, the Y37. Now let's look at a Y67 YSTR that we look at. It's YSTR395S1. 
So far to date, everyone that has tested at Big Y and everyone that's in the project that has tested 67 and higher has a 1517 here. We have found that if you have a 1517, and notice this is not a rapidly mutating, considered one of the rapidly mutating YSTRs. If you have a 1517 here and you're matching members of our project, I, it, you are of interest for us to look at getting a Big Y because it's likely, along with this other data that I've already talked about, that you're likely to be in lineage one and could help break out some more of the block tree. The last one that we have as a whole group, and I'm going the next part of this, I'm going to show you my specific line, the YSTRs that are signatures for my McCain branch and even down to my branch. So that's coming up next. So right here is this one. And then the next one here is... And this one's going to be one I'm going to discuss for a few moments. DYS444. That is significant for us. What we have found, this is a true signature YSTR, DYS444. If you have a 12 in the DYS444, you're most likely going to be an FT31442, or you're going to be an FT365. 675. That's what we have found in our project. If you have the 13, not one so far has not had a 13 and be in a1708 subgroup. So what I want to say here is this. We look at these signatures for the project as a whole. When a new tester matches into our group, we talk and we say, hey, we got a new tester. You know, they've sometimes they join on their own. Sometimes we invite them to join. We take a look at this data and then we can make a predetermination whether we believe they're going to uh, finish in lineage one. I'm going to go back now to the data and show you just my family lines, YSTRs, the ones that apply to the McCain's and as a whole, and those that apply to just my father and I at this point. Now for the McCain's, DYS448. So far we have four testers in this area, two uh, second cousins once removed to me, my father and I. All of us are the only ones in the project in lineage one that actually has a 20 here. So that is a signature to my branch. And then the second one all the way over, I'm going to scroll all the way over into the Y111 branching. And I'm going to look at first the <coughs> DYS532, the 13. Again, this is unique. DYS532 is unique to my McCain branch. So far, we haven't seen anybody else have a 14 in the DYS441. If you notice, this is just to, for my father and I. So this is a signature to my father and I. What I want to say there is, is when we test, well, if you match it Y37 to the Barton members, we're going to take a look at it and possibly invite you or you'll add yourself. If we see that you have a pattern, and I just showed you the McCain one, but there's other patterns in the data that represent members um, that we can say, hey, you're probably going to fall into this category of the Bartons or in this other surnames group inside Lineage 1. As an admin, there are signature YSTRs that we can see in the data from the Y37 through Y111. You could be anywhere in between there. When we look at it, we see that this is most likely to test into this group or most likely to test into that group when the big Y happens. You have to know, first have to be a match to the project, meaning that Y37 or the Y111 matches and keeps you with the Bartons as your primary possible matching. We then look at it when you're added and determine our suggestion what you do. We had someone recently, and again, I'm going to add that video at the end of this, joined our group and is still in our group, but turned out to be more of a match in another project, which we suggested them add themselves to, and they have. If you like this kind of content, please consider subscribing right here or watching some of these other videos. Let's continue learning together.